Hey everybody, it's Susan, and welcome back to another video. So glad you could make it. And today, I'm gonna be showing you some of my cleaning hacks, my cleaning gadgets, and organizational items that I use on a daily basis. So come along and let me show you what I found. And if you're like me, you have at least one shower curtain liner that looks like this. You put it in there and it doesn't take long for it to get kind of moldy looking at the bottom. Well, let me show you a quick non-scrub cleaning hack. Get you a bucket, put you some water in the bottom of the bucket till it at least fills up the area above where you need to clean. And then you add about half a cup of bleach to that water. The next thing is just basically get all of the curtain and submerge it into the bucket of water and Clorox. Make sure that you have all of your uh, curtain liner in the bottom and make sure that it is divided up so all of the Clorox and water can get to every area in it and let it set for about 10 minutes. And then you can pull it out and look at how clean it is. It got all of the little bits of stuff on the bottom completely out. When it's time for me to clean my kitchen cabinets, I like to use something that helps me get all the way to the very top without me getting on a stool. All you have to do is wet this scrubber, put it back on its mop head, and then it's time for you to clean your cabinets. The long pole on this allows you to reach the very top of your cabinets and not have to be on a stepping stool, which I hate to get on because, you know, I always feel like I'm going to fall off of it. But this will allow you to get around your cabinets, get in between the handles actually with the smaller ends, and get everything nice and clean without the possibility of you falling or getting hurt. And for all of my cleaning gadgets, I will link them below. I got them all off of Amazon, and I do love them and use them on a regular basis. And this is also not just good to use for the up high. It also helps you to get down low. That way you don't have to get on the floor and try to scrub things from the floor. And continuing to clean in the kitchen. I saw this on TV and thought, okay, let me give it a try. I have never been able to move my appliances easily and thought this would be awesome to give a try. And let me tell you, it works amazingly. Look at all the lint and stuff that was under this dryer. I already did my refrigerator, my oven, and my washing machine and got everything out from under it. Look at all of the stuff that it collected on the pad. It really does a great job. It doesn't just do underneath, it also does in between. If you have small crevices that you need to get cleaned in between the appliances or the, the oven and your cabinet, this will fit in between them really nicely. And y'all know I love to clean, but look at what came out from under just my dryer. I was amazed, and yes, I will be using this on a regular basis now because of this. If you saw my last Sunday Reset video, you know that I was touting this hanger organizer, how easy it is to keep all the hangers together in my closet and then be able to pick it up, take it into the kitchen and use all my hangers all together without having to fumble with putting them in my arms and taking them to the kitchen in multiple loads. This makes my life a lot easier. Have you ever been looking through your pocketbook trying to find your keys? I know we all have done it and it seems like my pocketbook always eats my keys. Here is the hack that I came up with so I never lose my keys. I have a fob that I put my keys on. So that way, 
They're always close to wherever I have the fob hooked. All you have to do is attach your keys to the fob and then hook them into one of the links on your pocketbook. Now the fob is secured, your keys are attached to the fob, and you don't have to go rummaging through your pocketbook to find them. They're always easily accessible and in the same place every time. You get them out, you have that retractable line that allows you to reach the lock, and then it automatically recoils, and your key goes back into your pocketbook safe and sound and easily findable right there attached to the side. I don't know about y'all, but I've always got cords that are dangling around in my kitchen. I saw this online and decided to try it out, and it is great. It keeps my cord together with my plants, and I don't have a bunch of cords hanging out and running around on my countertop. It's all nice and secure. And here is the last cleaning hack, Tide Pod. I believe this is the four in one with the Oxy. And I've got hot water in the bucket. I add the pod. I do use a butter knife to help uh, release the pod a little bit because that is hot water in there. And it does take just a second to get it to completely release. And once the pod has dissolved, then you can go ahead and start mopping. I was quite skeptical of this, but I thought I'd give it a try. I'm always looking for good cleaners on my laminate floor and on my tile in my bathroom. This Tide Pod really smelled amazing, and I start to mop. Not expecting a whole lot, because I just mopped this floor yesterday, and it was truly eye-opening at how much cleaner my floor was getting just from using this and the Tide Pod. I did mop the whole floor, got some stuff up off the floor that had not been able to get off without this in there, apparently. So I was very impressed with what this Tide Pod did to my floor. And here is the after picture. And I can tell you what, this floor is spotless clean. I was so impressed, I decided to do my bathroom floor, which white grout is my nemesis. I hate it. I try everything on this grout to get it clean. And look what it looks like after I use the Tide Pod on it. It's not perfect, but it's a heck of a lot better than it was. And this is really hard to clean. Did my husband's grout also in his bathroom. Look how dirty it is. And I just mopped them yesterday also. And then this is what it looked after the Tide Pod cleaning. So much better. Guys, you've got to try this hack. It impressed me to no end. And I love the smell. Okay, everybody. That concludes this week's video on my cleaning hacks, organizational hacks, and cleaning gadgets that I use on a daily, if not weekly basis. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. We'd love it if you'd become a part of our channel's family. Until next time, see you then. Please like, subscribe, follow, comment, share, and ring that bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos.